The top two teams in Bergen County finally meet. Don Bosco and Ridgewood have dominated their competition this year, and the two powers clash on a picture-perfect day in Ramsey. Bosco was jacked up in the pregame, and it bled over into the first. Max Thomas goes low and buries the fastball. What a way to start. Bosco takes a 2-0 lead to open the action. Brandon Stewart cocks back and rips one. Man, Stewart loving the hot start for the Ironman. But Ridgewood would tie the game up thanks to back-to-back -to -back goals from John Dunphy. That's a good shot. The Maroons and Ironman close the first quarter, knotted up in a 2-2 tie. The second quarter, a different story. Bosco turns their game up to another level. Stewart buries another one and adds a Cam Newton Selly on top. Then we see why this team is so dangerous. Bosco's passing is elite. Mike Amoruso starts the tic-tac-toe. Connor Gorman finishes it off. That's one that makes the coaching staff happy. Don Bosco scored five goals in the second quarter alone. This is Colton Marquis with a snipe. The Ironman leads 7-3 going into the halftime break on Ridgewood. One thing that stood out from Don Bosco in this game was their level of physicality. Max Thomas gets the feed and starts to bully his way through two defenders. He shoots and scores! That was tough. Thomas had a season high four points in this game. At the end of three, it's 9-3 Bosco. The Ironman would put this away in the fourth quarter. Stewart with another. A season best four goals for the junior midi. He was locked in all day long. Another player totally dialed in was the aforementioned Colton Marquis. He's flashy with the short stick. Through five games this year, Marquis leads the team in points. He notched three goals and three assists in Saturday's action. We'll close this out with a highlight reel goal. Oliver Lugo, the no-look backhand shot. How do you defend that? Let's take another look. Don Bosco secures yet another win in dominant fashion. 15 to four is the final. The Ironmen have outscored their competition 68-23 during their 5-0 start this season. Their next test is Mountain Lakes on Wednesday, who they haven't defeated since 2016. Ridgewood drops to three and one with the loss. Reporting from Ramsey, I'm Jay Cook with JerseySportsZone.com.